Wouldn't it be amazing if I told you you can use your old school GameCube controllers wirelessly right on your Nintendo Switch without having the need to use that clunky adapter that plugs into the USB port? Heck, how about playing all the old school NES games with the NES Classic Edition controller, or better yet, the SNES Classic Edition controllers wirelessly right on your Nintendo Switch? Well, I'm telling you today you can with the 8-Bit Doe G Bros adapter. It's absolutely amazing. And today we're gonna go ahead and check it out and see how it works. Okay guys, this is the 8-Bit Doe G Bros adapter. Now I'm really excited to try this out because I've heard a lot of great things about it. In the box, you can see you have an instruction booklet, but does anybody actually read these? Because I do not. Let's go ahead and get that out of here. Uh, and then we have this weird strap that has Velcro on it. I don't really know what this is for, so we'll just set this to the side. And then as you can see, we do have a USB cord because you can actually use this on your computer as well. We will only be looking at the Switch today because as you can tell by the color of this thing, it really is inspired by the GameCube. So um, it's mainly probably used for the Switch, but you can use it on the computer. It's really lightweight, as you guys can see. Like, So here's the buttons. The yellow button here to the right is how you will sync it to the Switch. This switch here, you can switch it from S to W, so you can use it for your Switch or Windows, whatever you want. Uh, one of these buttons will do uh, a screenshot, and the other one will go to the home menu. So um, it's really lightweight, so I suspect there's probably no batteries here, which is a shame. Yep, no batteries at all. So you are going to need your own AA battery. So it's kind of a shame because usually when there's no built-in battery, they at least give you some batteries with it, and they do not. So you are going to need your own AA battery, so do keep that in mind. Go ahead and just pop these in real quick and then we'll start testing this bad boy out i'm really excited guys because i mean i'm almost more excited that i can use my nes classic controllers and my s nes classic controllers because you know as of right now I, I don't have any for for the switch so you can use the gamecube controllers like i said you can use the super nintendo controllers and the nes uh controllers if you have an nes or super nes classic edition but you do need the pro controller to turn this on or you have to get up and turn it on but you are going to have to control it with a different controller to get this set up because you cannot turn this on with this adapter so let's just go into the settings real quick and i'll show you how you can set this up so you want to go ahead and change the grip and then what you want to do is hit the red button here it will start flashing then you hold in the yellow button for a couple seconds and then it'll start blinking and just in a few moments you will see it connect hopefully there it is okay so we are now connected so that's awesome so now let's see how this works we're going to just plug in a controller here just to see if it just starts working right away or there's something else we need to do i don't know so we're going to plug in our uh, gamecube controller and let's see what happens here let's see um so yeah it's working that's cool so we're off to a good start so this is awesome so you just it's kind of like just plug and play once you get it all synced up so we are going to go ahead and load up some smash brothers just to see you know if there's any input lag or anything like that because i know a lot of people are probably going to want to buy this so they can play with their gamecube controllers uh, in Smash Brothers, because this thing's only like $20, so it's really, really cheap. And you don't need to buy that clunky adapter that plugged in the USB port. You can actually sit on your couch and be far away from your television with this thing. As you can see, this thing um, serves a different, you know, di different purposes. You can take a screenshot right there, or you can press the red button and go back to the home menu, which is always nice. So you still have those options, so that's really cool. You're not really limited. Uh, the buttons are on the adapter itself, so that's cool. Let's go ahead and just try to get through these... Uh, cut scenes let's just skip through oh it looks like we unlocked an eevee it's been a while since i played guys i've been extremely busy if you guys don't know i've been not doing too well uh, as of lately but uh let's go ahead and just skip through these menus and all right let's go ahead and try this out we're just going to do a regular smash battle i'm not going to spend too much time with it i just want to test out the uh input lag if there's any at all hopefully there's none if there's no input lag this this is a pretty amazing product i'm not going to lie all right, let's just load up a match here. So far, everything seems to be working just fine, but we are not going to know until we actually start fighting. So let's see. I'm not the greatest, guys. I haven't been practicing too much of Smash Brothers, so forgive me if I'm not that great. But I just I will be honest and let you know if there's any input lag at all. Uh, so far, so good. It doesn't feel... feels pretty good. I don't notice anything at all. feels really good. I, I'm just impressed that they, the rumble is still just as good. So this... Basically, you are playing with the GameCube controller because you are, and now you can do it wirelessly. This is working really well. I'm very impressed. This is insane. Yeah, I can't I can't recommend this enough. This is really good. 
Okay, so you can use other controllers. So we are gonna go ahead and try to plug in the NES controller just to see if it works right away. And as you can see, let's see, boom, we're in business, it's working, so that's awesome. So I wonder if you can just unplug this and just plug in the SNES controller and it's gonna work right away or do you have to resync it? So let's find out. So we're gonna plug in the Super Nintendo controller and let's see, is it gonna work? Heck yes, dude, it's gonna work. So this is awesome. So if they do bring over Super Nintendo games um, to the online service, you can just use your SNES Classic Edition controller and you're good to go. You don't have to buy their expensive controllers because as you guys know, Nintendo is releasing uh, controllers that people are getting in the mail right now that they spent $60 on, but you do have to be a member of the online service. But if you got this adapter for 20 bucks, you do not need to buy that. So that's awesome. Check this out, guys. This is working really good. Like, wow, no input lag. This feels good. We're playing retro style like we should. I am using the Super Con uh, Nintendo controller right now, but I could have used the regular NES controller, uh, which would have been more authentic because we are playing, you know, Super Mario Brothers. But yeah, you can use any controller you want. And look at this, no input lag, feels great. This is probably my preferred way to play now. I'll probably just be using this adapter and the NES controller uh, when I'm playing old school NES games. Now I cannot wait for SNES games to come to the online service. I'm very excited, guys. Guys, I can't recommend this enough. This is one of the best products I've reviewed in a long time. I really, It's really useful, guys. I love it, man. Wow. Well, there you have it, guys. It's been a look at the 8-Bit Doe G-Bros adapter for the Nintendo Switch. With this bad boy, like you saw, you can use your GameCube controllers, your SNES Classic Edition controllers, your NES Classic Edition controllers, all wirelessly. And this thing is only $19.99, so $20.00 and you can play with all those controllers. Nintendo is trying to sell their NES controllers that clip onto the side of the Switch for $60, and you do have to be a member of their online service to get those controllers, and they're extremely overpriced, but for the price of $20, you don't even need those bad boys. So if you guys are interested in this, I will leave a link in the description below, and you can go ahead and buy this for yourself. That's pretty much all for right now, guys, and there'll be more to come shortly. Thanks again. Thanks for watching the video, guys. I definitely do appreciate it. If you like the video, go ahead and smash that like button. And if you're a big Nintendo fan, don't forget to subscribe because I upload Nintendo-related videos all the time. And if you're interested in some VB20 merch, go ahead and visit my new website at bandurin20.com.